this recipe looks awful difficult. This but I is... bet it's gonna be a piece of cake. Aha. You're so cheesy. Crock Posse, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes at crock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog. It has well over 500 recipes and rising. You know what else is rising? My appetite, my hunger for cheesecake. And after all of the comments that we received and all the messages we received, evidently your hunger for one was rising too, because everybody, even someone on one of the videos, double dog dared us. <laughs> to make a cheesecake. And when you double dog dare a guy, there's only one of two choices. You either walk away and cower, or you double down and do it. And we did it. We gone and did it. And I say we, my wife did this. In fact, we're showing you right now, this is the final product right here. Mm -hmm. That was our first attempt at making a cheesecake. It won't be our last either, because that was super, super good. Yes. And it comes from... We have altered it from, I can make that in my slow cooker. So we're going to show you, we're going to tell you what we did, and then we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. Yes. More along the lines of what they did. And I'm going to ask your forgiveness right now, because I've never done this before, so I'm sure I'm about to mess something up. But I know, first thing I want to do is take my round... Five quart, please don't break it. It's the only round one of that size that we oh. have. That was almost going to be real bad. Five quart round slow cooker. Notice I've got it upside down. I'm doing it for a reason. I'm not cooking the cheesecake on the top of it. What I'm going to do is take foil. And you should you. I can't say it. It's kind of a tongue twister. But you said shiny side. Shiny side on the crock. And you need to use um, the extra wide kind. So it's yeah. all one piece. This makes it so... Um, did you cut it big enough? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, this makes it so you don't have to have a special pan to make cheesecake. Usually when you make cheesecake, you need a spring form pan. Uh-oh. You need a bigger piece. I'll use this for something uh -oh. later. Foiled again. <laughs> She's two for two, y'all. It's better to make it too big than too little because you can always kind of curl the edges down. So we're doing the outside. And you want to make it as smooth as possible. That come all the way that's, a, that's as much as it's going to, honey. Right it's there. round, so. You're all right. This you, reminds you, me of wrapping presents at Christmas. <laughs> just, yeah. There you go. You don't want it all bunched up. You just want it up next against it. You don't have to do, you don't have to bunch it up, babe. I'm just making sure it's... There you go. Okay. Okay, so now you have your new cheesecake pan. Davey, uh -oh. Davey Crockett. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it kind of looks like. Okay, so flip it over and put that down in there. And as smoothly as possible, smooth it up against the edges. You're going to want some hanging out of the crock pot so you have a handle to kind of pull it out of there. <laughs> On both sides. <laughs> <laughs> so just smooth it out as much as possible. All right. Okay. Keep hitting the foil. By the way, if you hear that rumble, other than the growling of my tummy, it just started raining here in Indiana in the fall. We haven't really had much rain. We're making up for it right now. It, it has been unseasonably warm, yes. and I have a feeling this rain is bringing with it the dire coldness. It was in the 70s this afternoon. They said it's going to be a low of 27 tomorrow. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not ready for that. Set that aside. Is that smooth enough, you think? Yeah, it, it is what it is, honey. Yeah. Just set it aside. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make our crust. <clears throat> and so we're going to take... Uh, they called for um, a, what is the equivalent of um, a cup of crushed graham crackers. We are using crushed Nella wafers. Yes. Because we like that taste better. Um, and so you add to it two tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. So I kind of like this where you're doing all the talking and I just get a bit of the, 
Well, you the told spokes me I model. was going to have to. <laughs> yeah. This, one. this one's a little bit more complicated, but everybody was asking for it, so we decided to go for it. Hey, totes worth it. Yeah. So you're going to keep mixing that up until it start until everything gets that butter all over it so that it, you can press it down into a crust. Just like that. Yep. Kind of get some of the big, bigger pieces of brown sugar mushed up. Now you can tell that the butter's getting all incorporated into the, the cookie. Mm -hmm. The wafer. Okay. Okay, so now you want to bring your um, slow cooker back over here and press that down into the bottom. Whole thing, right? Yep. Here we go. Now, usually we have the camera over the top so you can see what I'm doing. But, but yeah. the mixer's in the way because that's really going to be the star of the show here in a minute. Right. Trust me, I just poured it in there. And I'm going to mush it down. Yeah. And it's not a crust that goes up the sides mm -mm. of it. It's not a pie. Even though it, the cheesecake kind of looks like that, it's actually the side of the cheesecake that browns up yeah. on this particular one. And that's one thing that she learned with this one is I don't let it, it cook a, too long. Yeah, I cooked it a little too long. It still tastes amazing. Gosh. Um, but. I'm going to save the expression for when I bite into it again <laughs> to show you what I thought the first time yeah we really okay. liked it and i was i was taking a chance with the greek yogurt oh did i even tell them that not yet oh hey guess what <laughs> we um it in the first time that we made it we actually um used two cups of greek yogurt instead of plain greek yogurt instead of sour cream because that's a substitution we do a lot of times when we use sour cream um, and we usually really like it, so I wanted to see if the cheesecake would set up and how it would perform, and it did wonderful. We love, we loved it with the Greek yogurt, so now we're making it with the sour cream so that we can see if there's a taste difference, so we can tell you. And one of the reasons why you might choose Greek yogurt over sour cream is, even though it is cheesecake and it is a splurge, the sour cream has... A significant amount of fat in it that the Greek yogurt does not. Yes. So. All right. Let's talk about the rest of the ingredients here. We sure. want to know everything. We have two bricks of softened cream cheese. Is it softened or it, no? They didn't say to soften it. I just pulled it out of the fridge and it did fine. Okay. Well, two bricks of cream cheese. You need how much is this? Three tablespoons of cornstarch. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of flour. One thing of ricotta cheese. 15 ounces. 15 ounces. A thing of sour cream, which is one pound, 16 ounces. Mm, two cups. Two cups. And then a cup and a half of white sugar. And then how much vanilla? A teaspoon. A teaspoon of vanilla and four eggs. Where do I go from here? Okay, now we're going to take the two bricks of cream cheese and put them in the mixer with the cup and a half of sugar. All of the sugar? Yep. Okay. Get this thing open. There's one brick. And I'll grab the other one here. Get it open real quick. Maybe. I think it's going to take me longer to get this open. I want to make this cheesecake. <laughs> I'm sure that's what y'all are saying, Now, too. as you guys are mixing all these ingredients, you might want to stop from time to time and take a spatula and scrape down the sides. Um, one of the weird things about this particular, our KitchenAid, I think it's Professional 600, that I don't care for as much as I like my old KitchenAid. Um, are you okay? I can't get it open. My old KitchenAid used to do a real good job of mixing and scraping the sides and, and doing that. And this new KitchenAid, oh my goodness. <laughs> Who will win? <laughs> like you are the cream cheese. <laughs> um, this new KitchenAid doesn't always scrape the sides or the bottom really well. So sometimes you have yeah. to, we got a special paddle for it that helps with that. But we still have to watch it. Yeah. And so pull that up. 
and then turn it on real fast, right? No, no. Um, we're gonna go slow um, because, and it's gonna be noisy. Well, you can hear that mouse on the wheel in there. <laughs> What this is going to do is it's going to cream up. Yeah. Press that in there. How fast do I want to keep that? Just right, right yeah, there, I like that. Well, once once it starts to incorporate, you can go a little bit faster, uh -huh. but you don't want to go too fast or it flings it everywhere. I might know from experience. There we go. Looks like she said it's. Yeah, you may have to stop it and scrape down the sides. You just want it where the sugar granules aren't yeah. really there anymore. Now, it says at medium speed until smooth in the slow cooker cookbook. But like I said, this will fill up that entire bowl by the time we're done. So you've got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to test it. That's medium speed. Well, it's not that full yet. It's loud. All right. Is it Good? Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right. It's pretty cool. So next, there. you're going to add the ricotta and the sour cream mm. and then a teaspoon of vanilla. And you're going to beat that until smooth. You may have to get a knife to get that out. I had a hard time getting mine peeled off of there. Just take a knife around the edge. Yeah, there you go. Make sure I get the plastic out of there. Yeah. All right. Yep. <clears throat> ricotta. Yep. Oh, that came out clean. Cool. Yep. And we use part skim ricotta. You can use whole if you want to. Mm -hmm. But this, like I said, the part skim is set up for us. So. And then the whole thing is sour cream, yeah. right? Yes. The one thing I would not suggest lightening up if you're going, if you want to make this any lighter, is I would not use anything but full fat uh, cream cheese. Um, I've just had bad experiences of trying to use reduced fat cream cheese in uh, in all kinds of different recipes. So when cheesecake, when the cream cheese is the main ingredient, that's the one thing you don't want to skimp on. Yeah. I would say. All right, so there is our container of yep. sour cream. What didn't get on the mixer? And you need to add a um, teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla coming <laughs> up. All right. Now mix that up real well. I think I should probably take my spatula yeah. out first. I almost did exactly what you said. <laughs> now, so far, knock on wood, you are making far less of a mess than I did when I made this. Something is wrong with this picture. <laughs> smells good. Smell that sour cream. Mm -hmm. Now, once that gets incorporated, you can um, keep it. Down off the sides, real quick. Once that gets incorporated, I keep it going, and then I crack your eggs one at a time into a bowl, and then add them one at a time while it mixes until it gets beat in there. Okay. So you don't want to add all your eggs at once, and you don't want to crack them over this masterpiece you're creating. You want to crack them in a different bowl. No, no. <laughs> all right, so. That one didn't work. One egg. Okay. Make sure you don't shell in there, and now add it in and watch it get mixed up. So there you go. Now you can add the next one. Yep. Ah, 
ladder at it. This is where I'm going to start to turn it down. Because, whoop, wrong, wrong way. It's starting to fill up and it's yeah. starting to splash on the top, which means for too long it's going to splash out at me. Mm -hmm. Right. And in a bowl of go. Bob, are you okay? Wash my hands real quick. All right. Okay. Okay, now you want to gradually add in your flour and your cornstarch. So don't dump it all in at one yeah. time. Yeah, just keep it mixing and just add a little bit at a time and it'll get in close. Doesn't matter which one I do first. No. This is my flour. Mm -hmm. This is where it's going to get messy. <laughs> I'm trying to give a cat a bath. <laughs> Starch. Yeah. Okay. Once that's fully incorporated, your batter is now done. You feel like you need to scrape down the sides again? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this mix for a minute. Not that high. No. Right there. It will flash out. Man, it looks pretty together but I want to I definitely want to scrape to the bottom as well mm -hmm. just it also depends on what kind of a paddle you got like she said mm -hmm. but no actually that's that's doing all right yeah now me making this for the first time let's say that the expert wasn't sitting there behind the camera I'd be looking at this and I'd say man that's soupy mm-hmm should I be worried mm -mm. no nope you put all those eggs in there that stuff's gonna cook up I'll stir it one more time. Get everything mixed up. Just think about how soupy a cake is. Careful there. Good enough for me. Okay. So bring your crock back over here and go ahead and put it in the unit so you don't have to jostle it a lot because you don't want that batter all over the foil. You that want way. it to just cook where it's at. Alright. So go on and put that foil in there. Or the foil line pot in there. Yeah, don't just put the foil in there. No. Alright. Now you're going to want to flatten the edges of that foil so that lid can set down on there before you at check the lid. The lid's good. Or the no. Try and put your uh, lid on. The, you see what I'm saying? No, it's going to go outside of it. It's fine. You just want it to be able to set on there and you don't want to be jostling it with it in there. Where's the... There it is. Yeah. There, have it set on there like that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, careful. Okay. Okay. Now, you're going to want to pour that batter in over your crust. See what I'm going to do so that they can see what's going on here. You're gonna slide that back. Yeah. Oh, you gotta take the bat. The make sure you take off. the paddle off. Or else you're gonna make one heck of a mess. I'll get the mixer out of the way. This is a great mixer, by the way. I like it. I honestly like the the cheaper model better, though. I'll be honest. Really? Yeah. And I've been talking to some of my girlfriends who are bakers. And they like it, the cheaper model better, too. Almost so. lost your paddle. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there. Look at that. Yeah. All right, so now just pour it pour in. Pour it over the top. Just like that. It's going to fill it up quite a bit. Yeah, it is. Now, this is going to cook up, and it's going to kind of... You're going to need your scraper again, yeah. or a clean scraper. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, they're still, shoot, they're still a good cup. Yeah. Left in there. This is really going to cook up and bake up and set. And once it sets, like I said, I think we could have probably gotten away with shutting it off at three hours. I let it cook till for four hours and my outside edges got a little bit more done than what I like. Um, but this is another one of those recipes that as it cooks, if you see it starting to get golden on one side, you want to rotate that crock very <coughs> gently. Just like that. Yeah. Very gently so you don't jostle the cake. By the way, this has eggs in it. Don't do this. Um. But you put your lid on, cook it on low for three to four hours. I would say probably at three hours, if it is set, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to shut it off. Once you shut it off, you take the lid off and you put a clean kitchen towel over the top. Don't let it touch down. You leave it for an hour. And then you remove the whole crock from the unit and you let it cool completely on the counter. Once it's cooled completely, then you can use both sides of the foil and pull the cake out. Be very, very careful. Very careful. It. Start peeling the foil away and you can put it on a platter. I used a couple spatulas to kind of finagle the foil out from under it and get it onto my um, thing. I did split my cheesecake, like it, it, I cracked the top of it, which I wasn't happy with myself about doing, but then I tasted it and it was all okay. So, I'm serve this batch like a fun. Uh, uh, here. I'm going to show you a close up of what the cheesecake looks like. Yeah. My top cracked. I think I could have yeah. done a better job to not crack my top. Well, it's your first attempt. Yes. So, this cooks a very thick. Yes. Deep it, it kicks up high. It will once it's done cooking, you'll see how the center dropped. It will shrink back a little bit, and it'll start mm -hmm. to pull away from the sides, and that's good because then that helps you get that foil off of there too. So, um, I'll take a small piece. Of <laughs> And so once, once you get it on your platter, then you're going to want to put it in the fridge to chill. And that's when it's going to get that yummy cheesecake consistency. While it's oh, yeah, warm, so... it's not going to have that cheesecake consistency. It's going to be like warm cheesecake. So you want it to be cool. <laughs> um, and then we took, uh, I think, it, what, a pint of strawberries? Is that the size that we had? And we just trimmed the tops off and added a pack of strawberry glaze to kind of make it like you get at Cheesecake Factory. Mm -hmm. I'll just, show you. I just put the whole strawberries on there and ta-da! Get one more. Super fancy. Big strawberry right there on top. Yep. And I am a fan glaze. So I'm going to take it in. Yeah. Drizzle it on the sides of it there. And that, y'all. Yeah, show that to that camera. It's cheesecake. Check this out. You took you did a prettier presentation than I did for my photo. <laughs> you double dog dared us, y'all. Yes. And we came through for you. But it's not really official until the taste test. Can <laughs> wait. Mm. That is so good. Are you saying I can make that in my slow cooker? I did, I did. Actually, you <laughs> did, you did. We'll see how well I did with this one later. <laughs> but my goodness, that is good. Now, just a reminder, we switched a few things out from the recipe that you find in here. Um, the one that Mikey's eating right now, we actually made with Greek yogurt and hot sour cream. Mm -hmm. And we use Nilla wafers instead of graham crackers. So. It's light. Yes. Like... When you cut into it, it's like cutting through air. Mm -hmm. It's very fluffy. You know, um, it's not... I, when I think of a cheesecake, and I, I always think of, like, my mom used to make the no-bakes. It was really dense, real heavy mm -hmm. when you bit into it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like eating a spoonful, the consistency of peanut butter. And it took a long time to that isn't, that's cleanse your palate light. off. 
this right here, it, how'd you put it when you bit into it? It's like eating a soft, fluffy cloud. Yes. And this is, I'm just going to be honest, this is heaven. <laughs> it's mm. very yummy. And, and totally. The really cool thing, like I was saying earlier, is you don't have to have a spring forward pan. You can make it totally in your crock pot. With aluminum foil. Yeah. A little MacGyver in you. Go a long way. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Are you so going to eat that whole piece I think while I, we said you, I, Usually I take a bite and I'm like, okay, thanks y'all for watching. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> mm. Addie oh, is losing funny. her mind over there. She I'm went, being tortured over here. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey. Oh, you don't be mean. Miss Addie's been watching us this whole time. I want a pizza cheesecake. <laughs> Let's get you a good bar right there. Yeah. Some cheesecake, some strawberry stuff with a strawberry in it. Now, I'll feed this to you. But I'm going to do it like when my mama used to feed me. What? Open up, dang it! Here comes airplane here. Yeah, she, she don't mind. She She'll play along care. for She'll this. She doesn't care. She'll play along. Mm. What do you think? You've got it all over your face, kiddo. Yeah. <laughs> a little scooby doo action there. Mm. Yeah, Make just, that. Just have like a medium. Here, you can have some more of that. Right there. Hey, so, uh, we want to thank you guys for the dare, and we hope that we came through for you on this. Even if you don't like it, we came through for ourselves on this because this is great. And now we have, well, one and three quarter cheesecake left. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. If you like what you saw and you want to be a member of the Crock Posse, simply subscribe down below and you're a part of the family. And you'll see more videos every week of uh, some stuff that uh, my wife and Aunt Lou have made on the blog. And uh, they graciously let me come and cook it on camera. Also, check us out over Facebook. At recipes that crock and on instagram at recipes that crock as well as twitter at recipes crock and of course as always at recipes that crock.com and you keep watching and we'll keep cooking and all will be well i think i'm gonna get me another plate and finish off another piece of that <laughs> michael oh my goodness oh so good <laughs>